Hey guys, I hope you're all well and for those of you that haven't watched my last video, probably go and watch that otherwise it's going to be a little bit of a surprise to you. We are moving as of the 1st of September, we'll be in our new place and we currently live in a four bedroom apartment. Let me just scale back before I start rambling. If you are new here and this is the first video that you're seeing from me, then you probably clicked on this because it has minimalist in the title, but I just want to let you know that I'm not a professional, I haven't been doing this for years, this is like me starting out and I'm wanting to just live with less. My husband and I are moving from a four bedroom apartment to a loft apartment with little to no storage and it's just the two of us. Little background for those of you that watch my channel all the time, you will know all of this, but I've lived in my apartment, this one that I'm currently in, for the last like four or five years and my husband only moved in when we got married which was about a year ago year and a bit ago and we've just decided to start living with less and living a more minimalist lifestyle so just kind of living with less not having the excess and just trying to live within our means and I feel like minimalism is the best way for us to do that and the best way for us to move with less is to start decluttering and clearing out stuff now this is like the best time for us to do it because we're going to move into a fresh space that has little to no storage. So yeah, I'm just really excited about our new place and I'm excited to actually live with less, to live with just what we need instead of like all the excess. Okay, as I said in the beginning of this video, I am not an expert. I'm just starting out on this minimalist thing and I thought I would bring you guys along with it to just kind of show you how we're doing it, show you how we get on in our new place and how we kind of use that in the future and hopefully this will be a constant series on my channel and you guys will get something from it let's get into minimalism and how we're doing it because we're not being very strict about it we're just trying to find a way that works for us so the whole point of this minimalist lifestyle is that you only have things that you need and that you really love so in this video i'm going to sort out our laundry cupboard our towels which are in the bathroom cupboard we're not getting into beauty and body products and stuff like that yet because that's a whole separate video there's a lot of stuff um we're also going to do our lounge cupboard which has like games and electronics and christmas decor and like memory boxes and stuff like that so that is what we're doing in this video everything else will be in separate videos and that'll be coming in the next few weeks so what i found really helpful is to just think of the space think of the apartment you're moving into Think of the area that you're wanting all these things to go. So if I think of our bathroom, we don't have any storage, like zero. We have a bath, we have a toilet, we have a basin, no storage. We have towel railings, but that's about it. So essentially, we're going to need to think of storage solutions that look good, but also are space efficient because the bathroom is not huge. So now if you've already thought about the space, you know where things are going to go, you have kind of an idea of how it's going to fit, then you get into actually sorting out. So now when I get into the laundry cupboard, I basically know, okay, cool. I can only take two duvet covers, two sheets, two pillowcases, two big continental pillowcases, and maybe some throw blankets. So for me, I like to sort my things into different piles. So I will make a keep pile, so things that I absolutely love and I'm definitely taking with me. Then I'll make a donate pile. That pile is for friends and family. The donate pile is basically stuff that I think people would actually like, like friends and family that I can think of that need something like that and I want to give it to them. And then I make a charity pile. The charity pile is basically stuff that I wouldn't want to give to friends and family. It's maybe something that's a little bit stained. And now the fun part is sorting it all out and putting it in those piles. And I actually really, really enjoy this part. I'm not even kidding. I love it. Okay, just don't look at the ugly stuff in the background. We are in the process of selling a whole lot of furniture. So what I'm thinking of doing is inserting a little run through of our apartment so you can see what we have currently, what we've sold. We are selling all of our furniture. So that's something that is a big deal for us is that we're not moving into this loft apartment with two really big couches, a huge dining room table. We are basically starting from scratch. We're selling majority of our furniture. We're just keeping our bedroom furniture and then some of the lounge things. So we're keeping like our rugs and stuff that I bought recently that I actually really, really love. So I'm being very cutthroat with that kind of stuff because I don't see the point in accumulating furniture that I really don't love. So we've already started that process of clearing out furniture and selling furniture. It's really nice to actually make the money off of stuff that I never really loved in the first place. Okay, so this week, like randomly, I think it was like Monday or Tuesday, I couldn't handle it anymore. I just felt like I needed to sort stuff out. So I've already started sorting out the laundry cupboard and I'll insert some of that footage now so that you guys can see how I sort out the piles and stuff like that. I am now gonna sort out into piles of giveaway stuff, 
stuff that can be thrown away because it's just, or maybe donated. I won't have throw away pile. I think I'm going to have a donate to charity pile or even give to a second hand store or something like that. And then I'll have stuff for friends. And then also a pile of stuff that we need to keep for our new place. This is a random, Sean likes these kinds of things. This is something that we can definitely give to a friend if they want it. This is another random massage thing. Apparently Sean likes to buy random massage things. Grey velvet, mm, doesn't bring me that much joy, not keeping. So this is my pile of random memory things. I've got dresses from both of my parents' weddings when my sister and I were like flower girls or something. I'm not gonna keep these, these don't need to be kept. Um, maybe that's a second hand store giveaway. I don't know. Oh, these are our Kebe duvet covers. I love them. They have so much memory attached, but I don't see the point in keeping it. Um, my matric jersey. Hmm. I don't know. I'm going to put that in I don't know pile because I genuinely have no idea if I want to keep it or not. Hmm. I guess the whole point is that I don't keep things that don't bring me any joy. And this matric jersey is not like, when I remember matric, I remember my friends, I remember kind of going out and stuff like that. I don't think of my matric jersey, so actually this can go. My matric bomber jackets. This would actually be so nice for someone who's homeless and cold. So I'm going to put that in the donation pile. So just like that, we have one whole shelf cleared. So this is currently my keep pile. This is my giveaway to friends and family, and this is to donate. This donate pile is way too small. I may need to put some of these things into that donate pile. Or maybe when people come over and take a look at this stuff and the stuff they don't take, I'll put in that pile. Yes, this is going well. Okay, I'm thinking that... I, <gasps> I just leaned on something. I thought it was the shelf, but it was like a frame. Okay, I think I'm going to need to fast forward this bit. Otherwise, this video is going to be way too long. So you're going to see a time-lapse version of me clearing up this cupboard. <laughs> This is basically what my passage is currently looking like. This is the giveaway pile. This is stuff I really want to keep. Um, I need to sort out the gift wrapping stuff. This is like Christmas gift wrapping, so we'll just put this in like a Christmas box. It's really hard to find nice Christmas wrapping, so I want to keep that for this year. And these cupboards are already looking very empty. We basically just have the bottom one to do, and that is also in the giveaway. I just this is a lot of stuff. And then today, I think we're going to do the lounge cupboard which is that one over there it's got games and christmas stuff i am going to be very 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 ruthless with this cupboard because it's basically a cupboard of crap it's like the stuff drawer that you have but i have a cupboard worth of stuff that i do not use do not look at and it's just gathering dust so wish me luck and crush your fingers on me clearing out this cupboard and also on sean not coming home and being like oh, i really want to keep that <laughs> Okay, so I somehow forgot to mention that we have an entire cupboard up there filled with memory boxes. They're all my memory boxes. Like, how do I clear that out? I don't know. What am I going to do? That's a lot of stuff. So we have things like this. This is a box of different plugs. Some of these are like American adapters. This is one that I use in America, so this will be good to keep, but I just need to narrow this down. So after I've gone through the cupboard, I'm gonna plug in all of these and make sure that they work because the ones that don't work are probably still in here, but I'm just hoarding them for no reason. I think it's safe to say that we're an Apple family. Look at all of that. Basically. 
you've slipped the cabbage looking like now. These are all things that we are going to keep. Well, that'll go to Sean's, Sean's parents. This is for us to keep. The stuff over here is all keep. That is stuff that I think I want to give to my cousin because she's moving in here once we leave. And then at the bottom is Christmas stuff. So that is just going to go into storage because I've already sorted out. So basically all of that stuff we're keeping one shelf, like less than half of one shelf, which is amazing. Morning everyone. It is now Saturday morning and I left you guys having cleaned up this closet over here and now I need to tackle the bathroom cupboard that's basically just like towels and bath mats hand towels stuff like that that I just have accumulated another tip that I just want to give you is just to like do it in your time so take your time with it you don't have to get it done in five hours you don't have to get it done in a day you can stretch it out over a week two weeks three weeks if you're moving and you need a kind of declutter and just get stuff out and make sure that you're only moving with what is necessary then rather do it over a period of time that you feel comfortable with that you're able to get it done then stretch yourself out and actually not do a good job with it so I'm gonna start on the bathroom now here is our shelf of towels I can already see towels that I definitely need to throw away or give away or donate or whatever because they're ugly namely that very green towel over there. I'm literally just dealing with these two shelves up here. So that towel shelf, that one, remember we're only taking four towels, I think, um, or, th or six, we're gonna see what we have. And then also some hand towels, but also not an excessive amount, probably like two hand towels. And they have to be ones that I like. So let's get going. So now that I've gone through everything, these are all the towels that we need to give away or donate. A lot of these are really nice towels. Okay, not that one. Like this one is still really fuzzy and nice and great to use in the shower. But to be honest, it's just not my style. So previously I would feel really bad about throwing away stuff like this. Like towels that are still really nice. They're still good to use, but they're not my style. I would feel bad because I was like, well actually someone else needs a towel and here I am moaning about the style of it. But then why am I hanging on to it if I don't actually use it? I could actually just be giving that away to someone who would use it and who would enjoy it and it would be a blessing too, but here I am holding on to it for no reason. So that is something that I've really learned with this decluttering thing and listening to podcasts and stuff like that. It's really helped me with my mindset of why I'm decluttering and why I'm even hanging on to these things when I hate them. Basically have two extra towels and then that's Sean's towel, my pink one. That is similar to this one. It's another like very fluffy big bath towel. Is my bedroom. I'm currently using it. I've got two hand towels here and then I've got an extra one. I'm not sure if I'm taking the extra one. And then these will be used as our kind of like swimming ocean towels that we need every now and then. They're not essential and also there's no point in buying new ones just yet. We'll just take those with and then when I find ones that I really like that are not bright, I'll buy them and I'll throw these out. doing those three cupboards and I'm actually really really happy with my progress and I feel like I'm actually getting somewhere which is really exciting. I forgot to say that we are off on a little walk outside just so we can get outside and see some nature and just kind of breathe some fresh air because being inside all day is so tiring and cleaning is so tiring but I would just encourage you guys if you are doing this whole decluttering process and minimalism process then just Take some time out in your day to go and do something outside so that you're not cooped up inside all the time and you just don't feel like you're constantly cleaning because that's not fun at all. If you want to see some more like decluttering and our moving progress and stuff like that, then subscribe to my channel to see more of that. And I'm so excited about this whole process. It's making me really happy. I hope it's inspired you guys as well. And I'll see you guys in my next video where I will be decluttering the kitchen, the like utilities closet, and I think our laundry room, which is gonna be a task. So you can look forward to that. But yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye bye.